In brief, the story of the companions of the cave suggests that the youth will play a great role in this ideological struggle at the end of times and that they will take on great responsibilities. We have great hopes in our youth today. They will defend their ideology and stand up for what they believe in against the powers that be, against the oppressors who are ruthlessly and mercilessly persecuting the believers throughout the world. They will struggle against all false philosophies and ideas that are fabricated to deceive people. They will present the true faith and religion not afraid of anyone. The story of the cave is the story of the trial of faith, fitna to deen. Don't think just by saying, I believe you will not be tested. Listen to this ayah from Surah Al-Ankabut in the very beginning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif Lam Mim, Ahasib al-Nasu an yutraku an yakulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun. وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ أَلِفْ لَا مِيمْ أَحَاسِبَ النَّاسُ أَنْ يُتْرَكُوا أَنْ يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ Do people think that on the basis of saying we believe, we're not going to test them? Surely we are going to test them, just like we tested those who came before them so that Allah knows who are the truthful ones from the liars, from the hypocrites. The people of the cave were tested. The companions of the Prophet ﷺ were tested. In every time and age, this type of trial appears. And this is the greatest of all these trials. So we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us gain whatever strength and courage to stand up for all that is falsehood and strengthen us with iman and taqwa allahumma ameen aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'i al-muslimin wa al-muslimat fastaghfiruh alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidil mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een thumma amma ba'd my dear brothers and sisters, we are living those times of great trials and tribulations. And the Prophet ﷺ, just to remind you in the hadith I narrated earlier, said, لَمْ تَكُمْ فِتْنَةٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُنذُ ذَرَأَ اللَّهُ ذُرِّيَّةَ آدَمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ أَعْظَمُ مِنْ فِتْنَةِ الدَّجَّالِ There isn't a trial since Adam greater than the trial of Ad dajjal This immense, huge and enormous evil that is prevailing in the world today, from zina to riba, from alcohol to gambling, from abortion to murder, from oppression to exploitation, from propaganda to deception, from false ideas to erroneous trends and ways of living, from worship of materialism to the worship of the self. All this and much more is the work of Ad Dajjal. And what is Dajjal means? This Dajjal comes from the root word Dajjalah, which means deception. It's all deception. Unless we have a weapon to fight the Dajjal, we will never be immune from this great virus and danger. The Dajjal is real and is to appear soon in person. Today we are witnessing events that are paving his coming. Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is also coming. And the believers are also paving the way for him. A great battle will take place. Millions of people will be killed. In the end, Jesus, with the help of the believers, will kill the Dajjal and truth would have arrived while falsehood would perish. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us in Surah Al-Isra, وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا Say, 
truth has come and falsehood has perished, for indeed falsehood is bound to perish. Until then, we must realize that we are living those great trials. The last part of the last ayah of the story of the companions of the cave clearly states, وَلَا يُشْرِكُ فِي حُكْمِهِ أَحَدًا This struggle to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supreme must continue. Allah will prevail. Allah is not ready to take anyone as partners with Him in this rule. He is Al-Malik. He is the Sovereign. Ibad Allah, Allah, fear Allah, and save yourselves and your families from this great trial. The way to protect ourselves from the Dajjal, as the Prophet وسلم, said, recite Surah Al Kahf. Surah Al Kahf is very important. It is our protection, our weapon against the Dajjal. Understand it and be like those who were saved from those trials, such as the companions of the cave and the companions of the Prophet and the righteous and truthful ones who stood up to evil whenever evil arises. I will leave you with a very profound dua. If you don't have it memorized, please memorize it and invoke it at the end of every salah, just before you make taslim, as it was the practice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He taught us to say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min athab al-qabr, wa a'udhu bika min al-nar, wa a'udhu bika min fitna al-mahya wal-mamat, wa min fitna al-masih al-dajjal. O Allah, I seek refuge in you, from the punishment of the grave, and I seek refuge in you from the punishment of the fire. I seek refuge in you from the trials of life and death, and I seek refuge in you from the great trial of Ad Dajjal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and help us against Ad Dajjal. Allahumma ameen. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما